Good morning, viewers. Today I am going to discuss fibula, its general features. Right now, this is the fibula bone. It is the, as we know, it is the lateral bone of the leg, lateral L and fibula L. Right now, as it is homologous with the ulna of upper limb. Right. So as for any other long bone, we have three parts: upper end, shaft, and lower end. Same here, we have upper end, shaft, and lower end. How to distinguish which one is the upper end, which one is the lower end? The lower end has a marked projection called lateral malleolus, right? So here also we have a, some projection which is called styloid process of the head on the upper end, but it is not that marked as the lateral malleolus, right? So while viewing the lateral malleolus, we can differentiate this is the lower end, this is the upper end, and this is a shaft, right? Now, how to hold it in an anatomical physician? So we have one. Uh, formula to hold this bone in the anatomical position we hold it like a pen how we hold the pen like this so we have to put our thumb into this fossa which is called malleolar fossa and hold it like a pen right and this malleolar fossa lies posterior laterally so if we hold it like a pen we place the thumb in the malleolar fossa right and this index finger on the lateral malleolus we hold it like a pen so it, it will be of left side Likewise, if I hold it in this position, we are, I also hold it like pen, thumb in the malleolar fossa and uh, this one index finger on the lateral malleolus. But what happened is this malleolar fossa come anteriorly, right? So this is a wrong position. It should be laterally and posterior laterally, right? Anteriorly, we have a facet, right? For articulation with the talus bone. So tal um, facet should lies anteriorly and this fossa posteriorly. So if this is of not this side, we can hold it like a pen on this side also. We can hold it in, like a pen in this side also. But we have to t make sure that this malleolar fossa lies posterior laterally, right? Now come to the borders and surfaces and the in this in distinct features. So upper end is expanded in all direction. Posterior laterally we have a styloid process, right? Now come to the um, this lower constricted part is called neck right now come to the shaft now shaft has three borders anterior border which is the sharpest of all right then we have a interosseous or medial border and then we have a rounded or posterior border right note that this anterior border and inter interosseous border they are very close to each other see right so this is the also the peculiar feature which will distinguish this bone the, as the medial or interosseous border and anterior border they are very approximate to each other right and posterior border is this one so let's discuss from where this border starts anterior border starts from the below the head of, of the anterior surface of the head of the this fibula bone runs downwards and it it expands in the lower end into a triangular area see it expands into a triangular area which ends at the lateral margin of the lateral malleolus right this is anterior medial as i already discussed it lies immediately medial to the anterior border right and slightly posterior and it runs uh, below the neck right and runs downwards to end in uh, to end in front of this rough area above the facet this is a rough area this is facet rough area above the facet right posterior border runs from the posterior surface below the neck uh, head and runs downwards right to end on the groove on the posterior surface of the lateral malleolus right so this is posterior border anterior medial and posterior border now what are the surfaces this is the medial surface this is lateral surface and this is posterior surface right now come to the this one is the medial surface which lies between anterior and medial border lateral surface lies between anterior and posterior border right posterior surface is the largest of all surface which lies between the interosseous or medial border and the posterior border which is rounded right note that the the posterior surface has a crest in the upper two fourths see this is a medial crest right which divides the posterior surface into medial and lateral areas right it is present only in the upper two third in the lower two third of the posterior surface we have no such crest right now come to the lower end lower end is has four surfaces right medial surface which has a facet anteriorly and the malleolar fossa posteriorly right 
Then we have a lateral surface which, which is expanded as a lateral malleolus. It is subcutaneous. This is anterior surface and this one is the posterior surface which has a groove. Right? So these are the, all the general features of the tibia. Thank you very much students.